Here we're going to be looking at a notes receivable that's purchased at a discount or issued here. And what we mean by that it's at its purchase price here is less than the face value of the note. So this is going to be an interest bearing note here where the stated rate on the note differs from the effective market rate for this note. So uh, corp, for example here, Corp A lends Corporation B $10,000 in cash in exchange for a $10,000 three year note bearing interest of 10% while a note of similar risk has a market rate here of 12%. So our notes receivable, the stated interest rate is going to be 10% on the note. That's what uh, the note has listed had or it includes as its interest rate. And then the effect of our market interest rate is going to be 12% here on this note. So let's go and look at how we do our calculations here. So for recording our notes receivable here, it's going to be based on the effective interest rate or the market interest rate here of 12%. So the first thing we have to do is we we have to determine the present value of the principal amount here. So we take our $10,000 principal amount here and discount it back here at three years at 12%, the effective interest rate, and it's at the beginning of the period here. So it, uh, discounting it back here, the present value of that principal amount here is, is $7,117. Now, I had, we also have a present value of the interest component here on this note. So we've got uh, the note here is a $10,000 note and it has that 10% interest stated on a note here. So 10% times the $10,000 gives us $1,000 of interest per year on this note. So we have to discount that back here, this $1,000, and that's at the end of the period here. So you discount the $1,000 interest payment back here for three years at 12%, the market rate of interest. We calculated the interest payment here based on the stated rate here in a note to be at 10% to be $1,000 but then we discount this thousand dollars back here at the uh, effective interest rate or the market interest rate here of 12 percent. So its present value after discounting it back here for those three years would be uh, those interest payments they're worth twenty four hundred and one dollars. So adding the twenty four hundred and one dollars to the present value of the principal amount here of seventy one hundred and seventeen dollars the total amount here comes up to ninety five hundred and twenty dollars. Now the face value of the note here is ten thousand dollars subtracting the ninety five twenty from the $10,000 face amount here, we get a discount here of $480. So the present value of the note here, again, of $9,520 is less than its face value. So what we have to do is we have to amortize this note since there is a discount here. And we're going to use, uh, we'll look here at the note discount amortization schedule and we're going to use the effector of interest method here. And in this case, we use the 12% or the market rate of interest since that's what our discount is based on. On here. So looking at our amortization schedule, we have a ca the cash received, that's those $1,000 payments here uh, at 10% here per year on that $10,000 note, $1,000 per year, total payments would be $3,000 here for three years. Now we have our interest revenue here that we're going to be including here on this note and then we have some discount that we have to amortize at $480. So what we do is we start out with our carrying amount here in a note that's that $9,520, the uh, present value of the note here for its payments plus its plus its uh, principal amount here of $9,520. You take that times the 12% interest rate here and you're going to get uh, $1,142 for the interest revenue here at the end of year one. Now this interest revenue here includes this cash payment here of that 10% interest per year on this note of $1,000. So you have to subtract out this cash payment here of $1,000 from the interest revenue of $1,142 to determine the amount of discount that we have to amortize here at $142. So adding our discount that we have amortized of $142 times the beginning carrying value here of $9,520, you get your new carrying amount here of $9,662. Now taking the 960 
nine excuse me nine thousand six hundred and sixty two dollars take that times twelve percent again here and you're going to get the interest revenue for the end of year two that we'd have here at eleven hundred and fifty nine dollars and then again re, uh, we have to subtract out this cash received payment here of thousand dollars gives us our discount that we amortize here for year two at one hundred and fifty nine dollars adding that to the beginning carrying balance here of ninety six sixty two and we get our new carrying amount and then we just continue on doing that here until we amortize this note up to its maturity value of ten thousand dollars so we started at its uh, ca a big present value of the note here at the beginning of or at the date of issue here of 9520 and then we amortize it up here to its carrying amount at its maturity date of ten thousand dollars so just looking at our summary here on our amortization chart we have our cash received here of three thousand dollars and that is comprised or our, then our interest revenue is for thirty four hundred and eighty dollars but that interest revenue includes these cash payments here of three thousand dollars so the discount that we've am and then the difference between those two gives us the discount amortized here of four hundred eighty dollars so let's go and look at how we'd record this here okay first looking at our cash account here we would credit and this is looking from corp as a, a as a notes receivable here from the Corp A as a lender. So we credit or reduce our cash account here by $9,520. Now that's the present value of the note that we calculated here for its, its payments plus its principal amount here. And then we would have recorded a notes receivable here debited for $10,000. But since we have a discount on this notes receivable, uh, that is that nine, it, its present value being $9,520. We have to set up this discount or this contra account here to our accounts receivable. And this, count, this discount or this contra accounts reduces our accounts receivable. So we would have credited that for the amount that we have to amortize here at $480. That was the total amount that we have on our amortization schedule. And then we would reduce this discount for each year for the amount that we amortize. And that comes off our amortization schedule. And then we would have recognized interest revenue. Um, of 11 uh, in this case it was that thousand dollar payment plus the interest that we calculated uh, total amount here on that 12 percent interest which includes the thousand dollar payment but this came off our amortization schedule as well here you can see that it, so we have a, a total interest revenue for the three years here at thirty four hundred and eighty dollars now the other thing here when this when this note matures here we would recognize or debit our cash account here for ten thousand dollars and then we'd remove this notes receivable off our balance sheet here we'd cancel that out or remove it here off our balance sheet so then going just going back to our discount amortization schedule again here again using the effective interest method we use the market rate of interest here that we have we amortize this discount here using the market rate of interest rather than the stated rate of interest on the uh, note. So the market rate of interest was 12%. The stated rate of interest was 10%. And then we have a recognize our cash received. Those were the cash payments that we received on this note here for each year. And again, that's based on the stated rate of interest on a note. And then our interest revenue, of course, that was just based on taking uh, the carrying amount of the note times the effective interest rate or 12 percent in this case for each year here and we come up with the total interest revenue based on the, the in, uh, market rate or the uh, effective rate times the carrying value of the loan but we have to subtract out this cash payment that we received here from this interest revenue to determine the discount amortized and then we amortize our note here by just adding the discount that we calculated each period to the beginning balance uh, and then proceeding on down here until we get a total amount here of the note that it would be at the maturity date here. So we started out with the present value of the note here at its issue date and then we amortized it up to its uh, maturity value here at the maturity date of the note. So that takes care of our, our notes receivable issued at a discount here. Now we could have also had it issued at a premium and that would be in working in the opposite direction here but we looked at a notes receivable here issued or purchased here at a discount. Okay, just to follow up here, I have to mention that this $3,000 debit amount here in our cash account or our increase 
our cash here by $3,000. That's due to those three payments of $1,000 each. So if we look at our cash account here, the debit amount here for $3,000, and then we add in the on our discount our notes receivable here of $480 here on, as a debit amount as well here, even though it's, con it's a contra account here, uh, it balances with our interest revenue here of $3,480. So our interest revenue here of $3,480 on our income statement includes that those that cash amount here of $3,000 that we debited for those three payments of $1,000 each.